Well, we're on a tour of the uh, house that we've moved into here in Mount Gratu, Iowa. And uh, this is one of the bathrooms. This is on the uh, this is on the second floor, which is the ground level. I mean, basically, the basement is considered uh, the first floor, and then this is the second floor, which I showed you in the last video. And uh, the third floor is uh, where the comics are, and uh, the fourth floor is the master bedroom. Um, there's my father as a paratrooper. Ah, oh, shit! Uh, sorry, I bumped into a metal sign. Uh, this is uh, my grandfather, who's a baseball player. Yeah, my just bumped into this uh, pointy edge of this sign. Uh, it, uh, but I'm all right. I'll survive. So uh, I've got all this stuff uh, that I'm gradually putting up and organizing. That's the original Amigo cowl that came with the 1972 Batman uh, Christmas of 72. Yeah, Christmas of 72, the very first Miko figures. They're doing reproductions of them. Yeah, they sound. That's what I'm hearing. Well, I'm going on down to the basement to uh, get some stuff done down there. Oh, I got it. Let's see. Let's head on down there. Commando Cody, King of the Rocket Men, Flying Disc Man from Mars. I just put some of these posters up yesterday. Goliath and the Dragon, The Violators, Fire Maidens from Outer Space, Gigantus, which is actually the second Godzilla movie. So that's actually Godzilla. They didn't know at that point that Godzilla had name value. So here in uh, the Orloff Manor, the basement is a pinball parlor, and it's also uh, going to be like a tiki bar. But that is yet to happen. But um, and there's Pete the cat, the famous cat that uh, you all tune in to see. It's been with me since 2007, but here in the, this sign was painted by Lance Lurie. You know, I bought, I have several signs painted by him. Uh, he's great. He was always selling signs on uh, eBay back in the old days. Um, I looked him up on Facebook. Oh, he put out cool fanzines too. Snack Bar Confidential, I believe it was called. I looked him up on uh Facebook the other day and um, found he has lots of uh, very uh, cool videos up. So he's uh, definitely of the same political slant that we are. These are people that have visited the uh, Grotu Orloff pinball parlor in the past, like Gunnar Hansen and Celeste Yarnell. You know her from Star Trek. She was Miss Rheingold in 1964. There's Carolyn Jones, and there's another autograph with John Astin, Ken Osmond, Sean Connery, Shirley Eaton, Blaze Star. Here's a feline, was her name, the cat girl. And, uh, there's another picture of her. Yeah, lots of famous visitors to the Grotour Loft Pinball Parlor. Lindsay Lohan, Tempest Storm. Shannon Doherty has a very interesting signature. Look at that. Um, there's Darla Crane. Um, I left that cardboard box there. Uh, I was going to take it out, but the cats love to sit in this box while looking outside and observing the neighborhood. So there's Meg White's autograph. There's June Wilkinson. We got all kinds of 
autographs here. Oh, there's uh, John Aston and Margaret, Martina Beswick, Betty Page, Lily St. Cyr, Dita Von Tees. There's uh, Butch Patrick up there. Here's Wow Wow, she was called. Wow Wow. There's Mamie Van Doren. Who does not share our political beliefs, but uh, we still love Mamie Van Doren, even though she's a libtard. There's Candy Bar. She had a very cool signature. Yes, indeed. So, as we go down, we see a room that is just in total chaos. It's a bunch of boxes, but soon this will be a tiki, no, it'll be a tiki exercise room, I guess, because we're going to move a, a damn fucking uh, treadmill in here. Um, let's see. I cursed about the treadmill because the, the, some of the people that helped us move said, well, we'll give you the treadmill free, but they apparently were sent, I wasn't there, but they were saying, oh, we can't fit that on the U-Haul, you know, we've got too much, and they left some stuff behind in the trash that uh, I kind of valued, and then, then they, they decided to just uh, bring this giant treadmill along and... And I don't even know if it works, honestly. So, I mean, both, you know, I, I, I need to, oh, well, it doesn't matter. No sense crying over spilled milk. Oh, I just found a box, two boxes, actually, with uh, all the books that I've been uh, whining on this channel about having had lost, but apparently they're there. But there is still some stuff missing. Um, my, uh, there's still, a, I don't know, I, 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 just driving me crazy. I'm still missing my Reptilicus poster and my I Was a Teenage Horrible poster. Maybe it'll turn up. I don't think so. I th I've opened every box. Or I thought I had. Anyway, this is a, it's harder to hang pictures in here because the walls are concrete. This is a, the, the uh, basement. But uh, the, ba the, the kitchen in here is the only complete kitchen we have. It's a full kitchen, uh, and it's, uh, you know, kind of has a 50s look, see. Here's Pete. Oh, Pete needs some water. Let's get him some water. Um, so, um, I have a water fountain that I've uh, that we bought that I need to uh, finish assembling, so he has a continuous. Let me fill both these things up with water. Uh... Anyway, this uh, basement floor one has a full kitchen. Oh, shit, I'm spilling everywhere. Ugh. The second floor, they started to put a kitchen in. But it's all it has is cabinets. The third floor has a, it has a, it had a full kitchen, but the previous owners took out the refrigerator and the stove. But it has a dishwasher up there, and then the fourth floor where we sleep, the master bedroom, it only has a, a sink and a refrigerator. A little mini refrigerator. Anyway, here's a pinball parlor. Um, I've got a go-go, and we've got Domino, and we've got Fun Park. These are all mid-1960s uh, machines. Um,
Well, this is, uh, what is it? Have a tilt? Is that my problem? What is doing? Oh, I see. Alright. Some of these older machines are having a little bit of a problem here from the move. There's some uh, signs that I need to put up. Uh, you can't really hang, uh, it's hard to... This jukebox here, you see it briefly, not this particular one, but one just like it in the last episode of The Prisoner. And these are the records that go in it. I've got to put them in it. But uh, if you saw X-Men First Class, which was a good movie, the, the government puts the X-Men into uh, basically a luxurious cage and with, with lots of fun things to do. And, and they have this pinball machine in there, except uh, the one in the movie is called Fun Land instead of Fun Park. Um, the difference is one is an add-a-ball machine. And uh, that's kind of a complicated thing, but anyway. So, very 1960s. Usually, Pete's been, when I play these, Pete's been jumping up on top of the machine. Let's see if we can get Pete to do it today. Hey, Pete, where you at? It's real hard to play pinball when you are, um, when you have one hand, one hand holding a camera. Um... So, we've got these, uh, we've got Aquacade, and of course this was originally made before, uh, before they had flippers, originally, and, and so was Tropicana here. These are really, uh, 19, late 1940s, this one's from the 50s, um, let's see, is it even... I haven't played this one since I think I've got to trick it into thinking a coin's been inserted. All right, I won't worry about that right now. Um, there's actually a light switch in here. Perhaps you would like to see the room with light on. And uh, I swing along, and that trio machine over there doesn't really work. And the, the, the floor is littered with boxes, which I was trying not to show you, but I might as well be honest. And a lot of it is books that I don't have bookshelves for. So, that's wonderful. There's uh, Space Invaders. And here is uh, the wonderful Boot Hill. One of the very first video games. You might remember it if you're my age. I think I've got to put fucking... I don't even have any quarters. But, um... Yes, perhaps you remember that. Here is, uh... The... This is low battery shit. Oh, come on. This is a bunch of records. 45s. 45 RPM records, or vinyls, as you uh, young whippersnappers called them. Lots of records. You've got your CDs. You've got your DVDs. Um, I, I'm just in the process of unpacking. You've got to understand, so I beg your forgiveness. But uh, yes, this is. Uh, you know, like a mini blockbuster here. Lots of, uh, I didn't really realize I own this many DVDs. Um, but apparently I do. Uh, in case Mike McCarthy's watching, uh, here's uh, Super Starlet AD. And, uh, and I just saw uh, this. This is a... Uh, uh, cover that Mike McCarthy designed back in the 90s, Mexican Monsters on the March for uh, something weird video. 
So, I haven't talked with him in about a month since I moved. But, uh, oh, and uh, all your uh, videos are safe, Jambo, up here. Uh, ready to, uh, everything's, uh, he lent me, he sent me some uh, tapes and discs, and I've got to get the discs back to him along with some copies. So I've got video games. We're all set for the apocalypse, you know, we've got our, uh, DVDs, these are actually, this is actually a highbrow way of displaying 8-tracks. Uh, look. Uh, oh, shit. I've got it where I can't open it. Push back there on the Kovacs. See, it's 8-tracks in here. Who put, what Philistine put the 8-track? Oh, man, the 8-track is a two-sided 8-track. It's a double header. Okay. Yeah, got Chris Christofferson, which is actually what uh what Travis Bickle got as a present for Civil Shepherd and Taxi Driver. I gotta move this head upstairs because that's one of Cleo's heads. Uh, she's a cosmetologist. So uh, anyway, I gotta get back upstairs because the battery is getting low. There's Poco Go Go by Wally. Wally from Leave it the Beaver. No, I'm just kidding. There's a photograph of my father down with that upstairs where he's been getting ready to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Anyway, when there's a real bad thunderstorm, so a little, little rivulet of water comes down here and some water. So that's where I was soaking up the water. So I'm going to have to get a sump pump installed. Um, being from... Maybe a, it's a lot of freaking DVDs. Be, and there's more in another room and upstairs. Uh, being from Texas, sump pumps are something that I have uh, don't really know about. I, want, I wanted to get some footage of Pete up on top of the. Let me see. Pete, come here. Wait. Pete, come on up here. I want you. I want you to chase the balls, man. Come on. Show them what a soap, what a football wizard you are. There you go, Pete. Chase it. You're you're famous, man. Pete. Pete's been doing this ever since he was a kitten, man. Chasing the balls. But it hasn't happened in a long time. But now we've got a place to put all the pinball machines and all is right with the world again, right, Pete? Pete had some surgery. He, Pete had some teeth removed that were um, causing him not to groom himself. Uh, I guess they were infected. So, uh, oh shit, that ball keeps getting stuck there. Let's see if I can fix it without tilting the fucking goddamn motherfucking cocksucking machine. Why does it get stuck there? You fucking bitch. You fucking cocksucking whore. Did I tilt the machine? No, I didn't. It's incredible. Astounding. Well, it went through that time. Oh, Pete. It's just like when you were a kitten. Pete's part of the original trio. There was Daisy, my first dog, a beagle, that I got in two, the summer of 2006. And there was Princess, my wonderful white cat, deaf cat, that I got in also the summer of 2006. And, uh, and then Pete came along the next year, showed up at my doorstep on a cold morning and just walked right in. And so uh, Pete's part of the original, uh, Pete's an original gangsta here in the Gratuor Loft Manor. And I know I'm playing shitty pinball because I um, fucking can't... I only have one hand. Oh, man. Oh, well. Make sure you give me lots of likes and uh, tell all your friends about the Gratuor Loft Show because I can't break 350 subscribers for the world. Starting to give me a complex, and 
Not I think YouTube is not. I bet if I move to Rumble, I'd get more subscribers. I think YouTube doesn't like my politics. But I, I swear I love per, uh, the Biden. He's, I don't want to say president. I think he's just, just a fantastic uh, leader. But uh, anyway, um, it's, uh, I hope the United States is doing better than it ever has. Fuck that build back, uh, I'm sorry, the Make America Great Again. Build back better, that's the way to go, man. It's all so wonderful, right? And in here, uh, there are two bedrooms that are also all just a bunch of books stacked up since I don't have bookcases. So. so, not much has changed in this room since you last saw it. I need to move this Vampirella mannequin upstairs. That's one thing I gotta do. Here's uh, She Hulk that's been ruined by uh, Marvel Studios, you know, along with everything else. Here's some books I probably should show off on. Uh, Graphic Man's channel. He was showing off BC books the other day. I've got a lot of BC books. There's my EC uh, Russ Cochran books. Uh, I thought I had a weird fantasy set. I guess I don't. So at this point, I was going to fill out an insurance claim, and I don't know if I really should because uh, there's a stereo. I need to move upstairs. I guess I shouldn't because I think I found most of the books. In the, I don't know. Let's see. And in this room, it's also, uh, yeah, this is where I got Dennis the Menace paperbacks. I got all kinds of stuff. As Captain Strange Life says, it's a world of stuff. Uh, it says, it's a second low battery warning. I better take it seriously, man. I better get upstairs. Uh, I'll come back down and turn off all this stuff. Yeah, I'll turn off some of it now. What the heck? Blah. I'll just turn it off on now. Um, hey, Pete, I'll, p I'll play pinball with you later. My wife, Cleo, and I are going to be coming down here later to cook dinner, and we'll see the cats then. Um, the humidifier doesn't need to be changed yet. Let's see. Let's turn these off as well. And then let's get back up before this phone expires. We're already ready for Christmas here at Angratu World. There's Miss Donut Queen, 1948. I'm turning off the lights like a good person because we had a high electric bill. So that was the basement. Let's go upstairs where I know I can plug this in. Here's a Charles Hancock uh, original chalk drawing. the comic book room. Still watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Okay, we plugged the phone in, so. Let's see what we got here. I like this picture. Isn't that cool? We need more DJs like uh, like that. And that microphone. Imagine if we had microphones like that for our YouTube shenanigans. Okay, what do we got here? There's a book about robots. I think I was given this as a gift. 
This book I have, um, this box I've labeled Eerie Publications, Weirdo, and Cartoons. Looks like originally it said miscellaneous crime and girly mags. Sometimes I have to reuse boxes. There's a, here's Tales Too Terrible to Tell. Let's, Tales too terrible to tell. We need more light, don't we? Did you understand that she was making twenty one hundred and ninety dollars per week for Gully? This is a reprint book. When is that contract condition? This is my broadcasting station where I've uh, Make my appearances on the Four Color Fossils show. I've got uh, so this microphone this and this microphone. For That's the light I usually put on. Is there a... Let's see. Oh, when we were last uh, on, I was showing some books. Here's a cool little book. It's the Magazine of Horror. The Bizarre, the Frightening, and the Gruesome. The Gruesome. It's from Acme. It's got a Robert Block story. John Steinbeck. Seabury Quinn. Boy, it's got some big name authors in this. There's a Gray Morrow cover. How about that? Oh, Shriek was a horror magazine. I think they put out about three issues. So this is the same company, Acme, that put out Shriek. So that would probably date this about 1967, I'm guessing. Let's take a look. It's 65-66, winter of 65-66. So, when this magazine came out, uh oh, this magazine came out, I was, oh, thank God it's not a page torn out, it's just a tear. Oh, several pages torn. Um, I was just a newborn baby and this came out. Destination by Robert E. Howard. I think I showed this on Graphic Man's channel. I probably shouldn't have because it's a little racy. The Love Slave and the Scientist. Oh, I showed this. This is Marvel's attempt to get into these digest uh, new pulp kind of thing. Because in the early 70s, there was a lot of nostalgia going on. And, uh, oh, shit. Hold on. I got to go downstairs and look at the books I just found to see if... Uh, yeah, see, that's also... Uh, this is Kelly Frias. But uh, it's like reprints. And, and there was a big nostalgia boom in the early 70s, and it, uh, people, you know, a lot of the old pulp stuff came back. Doc Savage came back in the 60s. Conan uh, came back and became a comic book. And uh, oh, look at the Marvel line. Oh, there's nothing better in life than those magazines. Anyway, this was part of their... Uh, Horror magazine line, The Haunt of Horror. And later they turned it into an actual magazine. Uh, but the first couple of issues are these little tiny digest size, about the size of an old TV guide. This is also a Gray Morrow cover. He used a couple different scores based on um, dates. He didn't, I don't remember if they were uh, correlated to the statements. I wonder who the smiling, happy guy was. Else. Someone ought yeah, to do an investigation of that. Let's see. Let's just TV guys. Okay, I need to go down and check those books I just found to make sure because I just remembered 
thinking about nostalgia yeah. from the 70s. Um, there was a book called stories. Superman thir from the 30s to the 70s, and one called Batman, from, and then there was a Wonder Woman, all part of the same series. I want to make sure that I have found those. And then I'll be... Uh, let me go check. I swore those were all lost and now I'm embarrassed that I found them. Let me turn the lights on. This has been a hell of a move, man. It's uh it's been horrible. Horrible, I tell you. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't know where to put things. I just keep putting things out. See, I found General Aldo. I'm, I don't think his rifle was found, though. I can't find his rifle. And I think I found all the pieces to the monster's living room that was smashed and thrown in a box. It wasn't even wrapped. Um... Okay. Um, yeah, these two long, comic long boxes contain some of my books. Um, this is driving me crazy. I've got to get bookcases because I can't stand being this disorganized. Um, and these are some of the books I found. The Mad World of William M. Gaines. Here they are, um, books I was afraid were lost. Coming on the bad guys, Son of Origins. Where's the superhero women? Are all the Legion of Superheroes books? Um, let's see what I found. Yeah, I don't know. There's still some books missing here. A Superman 30s to the 70s. There's the Michael Fleischer and so Batman Encyclopedia. It's just a cart like they use in a library. Ugh. It's on wheels. Um, oh, I 
still have room on here. Oh, I just don't see those books. So I guess there still are a few books missing. third floor. I'll show you what I meant. This kitchen here. Um, see the refrigerator and the stove were taken out. 